Hey what is up everyone I hope all of you are doing great and in today's question we have in a homogeneous non-magnetic highly insulating and viscous medium a moving particle experiences a viscous drag given by the equation this one. So the frictional force is directly proportional to the velocity and directed opposite to the velocity B is a positive constant V is the velocity of the particle a particle having charge Q projected with an unknown velocity from a point in the medium almost stops its speed becomes practically negligible after traveling a distance 10 meter in a straight line ok. So, first let us discuss this thing. So, there is a resistive medium and a particle of charge Q is thrown in that direction ok. So, after traveling a distance of 10 meter this particle comes to rest right due to the resistive force. So, this data is given in this line or in this paragraph ok. Now, a uniform and constant magnetic field is established in the region and the same particle is again projected with the same velocity directed perpendicular to the magnetic field. Now, what happens? We are projecting the same particle with same velocity, but now there is some magnetic field perpendicular to the direction of initial velocity, right? So, just after throwing the particle, the magnetic field will start to apply a perpendicular force which will be equal to q times u cross b right but as the particle starts to move further the speed of the particle decreases but of course the magnetic field will keep on applying a perpendicular force okay so this will result in a path of decreasing radii and after some time the particle will converge to a point right so this is pretty much a spiral path i hope you can understand okay because the circular portion the circular behavior is due to the magnetic field and the decrease in radius behavior is due to the frictional force okay right so now let us discuss the question that has been provided along with this paragraph in the presence of magnetic field the particle moves on which kind of path as I have discussed earlier initially it was thrown in the presence of zero magnetic field ok. So, it travels a distance of 10 meter then stops straight line path, but in presence of a perpendicular magnetic field it performs a spiral path ok and it converges to a single point. So, the final answer would be spiraling into a given point ok. Now, spiraling away from a point means the motion would be something like this that means increasing radius ok that would contradict the scenario. Let us go to our second question. Second question they have asked that in the presence of the magnetic field if the particle practically stops 6 meter away from the point of projection the magnetic field is equal to right. So, in the presence of ma uh, magnetic field the motion of the particle is something like this ok I have already said. Now, please read the question the particle practically stops 6 meter away from the point of projection point of projection is this one ok this one and it stops here. So, the displacement is 6 meter ok. Let me tell you one thing I have considered that the unit vector along this direction is n cap ok. Now, n cap u vector and b vector sorry n cap and u vector are perpendicular to the magnetic field vector ok. I have taken a small portion from this path and I have drawn the uh, free body diagram or the forces acting on the particle at any instant. I uh, will come to that later first let me discuss something here. When there was no magnetic field the particle was thrown with a speed uh, or with a velocity u at any instant only the frictional force is acting in the opposite direction right after 10 meter the velocity of the particle becomes 0. So, mass into acceleration at any instant equals to minus b times v vector. So, a is dv dt at t equals to 0 v was u vector at any time t sorry after a time t means from here to here the final velocity becomes 0. So, integration of 0 to t v dt is nothing but the total displacement that is 10 ok. So, this value is 10. 
So, finally, m u vector magnitude I have taken because it was minus m u, it would be 10 b. So, I have taken the magnitude, fine. So, this we will use in our question after some time. Huh. Now, let us come to the spiral one. When the magnetic field is present, okay. now the magnetic field is present, we have thrown the particle, uh, particle takes a spiral path and converges to a point and comes to rest starting from the point of projection to the point where it comes to rest the total displacement is 6 meter. I have taken the unit vector along this direction as n cap. Okay. n cap and u vector are perpendicular to magnetic field. Okay. At any instant I have considered that the particle is at this point. I have drawn the free body diagram of that particle. Velocity is tangential. Force due to magnetic field is perpendicular friction is in the opposite direction right fine so mass times acceleration equals the fo magnetic force and the frictional force okay a is dv dt so taking dt in the right hand side we just multiply v times dt here and v times dt here now integrating from 0 this is 0 to t t means when it comes to rest so, at t equals to 0, velocity vector was u vector, after time t it becomes 0, same thing here. So, this one is the displacement vector, this one is also the displacement vector, right. And what is the displacement vector? 6 n cap, right. So, this one is 6 n cap, this one is also 6 n cap. So, I just put the values here, we get minus m u vector q 6 n cap cross b minus b times 6 n cap. Okay. Now, please uh, look at this expression carefully. As I have said that n cap is perpendicular to b vector. So, this resultant will be perpendicular to n cap of course. Right. This resultant will be perpendicular to n cap. Now, if I take square both side, I mean if I take the resultant of these two vectors, not squaring both sides, if I take the resultant of these two vectors, right. So, we will get a mu square, whole square, this one square, magnitude of this vector square and magnitude of this vector square. So, this is nothing but 6 q b cos sin 90, of course, please convince yourself from this line to this line, I hope you can understand, right. Now, m u square, m u we have already got as 10 b. So, just put the value of 10 b here. Uh, this one we will get this one 636 fine. So, the final expression of the magnetic field is 4 b by 3 q. So, our final answer would be 4 b by 3 q option A right. Let us come to our final question. The magnetic induction is now doubled magnitude without altering its direction, how far from the point of projection will the particle practically stop. So, now we need to find out the displacement if the magnetic field is doubled. Okay. So, the same thing is happening spiral path converging to a point at any time t we will just draw the free body diagram of the particle, the magnetic force is present, velocity is there, resistive force is there, mass times acceleration is, but now instead of b vector we will write 2 b vector, but 2 is I have kept here. Do the same thing at, at t equals to 0, v vector is u, after time t that means when it reaches here final velocity vector is 0. right? So, this one is the displacement which we need to find out, this one is also the same displacement. So, I have named it as s vector, Okay, so this one is s vector, so we got this one. Of course, s vector and magnetic field vector are perpendicular to each other. So, this whole vector and this whole vector are perpendicular to each other. So, resultant of this addition of vectors are nothing but 2 q mod of s and b square plus b s square. Okay. So, m u square again taking the value of m u from the previous question that was 10 b. So, 10 b square and this one just put the value of b which we got from the second solution. Just put the values, you will get the final displacement as 
30 divided by root 73 that means this length is 30 divided by root 73 so our final answer would be option d <sighs> fine so this was a bit lengthy question but it was uh, worth your time so i hope you all have found this video helpful and informative if you are new to this channel please do subscribe if you like the video give a thumbs up and i will see you in the next one peace